I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> no, it is an exciting thing until you get the contractions. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously I have not been through this before, but I've got you two and I need all the advice. Talk me through both your births. You know what? I can't lie. Mine was very traumatic, but I've spoken to people that have planned C-sections. Yeah, yours was emergency. Yeah, yeah, and it's completely different. So obviously I was in labour for like three days and my waters went, I, I like they tried inducing me, everything. I had every drug you can think of, right? Just, she wasn't ready. Yeah. So then they were like, right, the baby's heartbeat is dropping. We're gonna have to rush you down for C-section. So they rushed me down and I'm laying on the bed and they start cutting and I go, ow! And they were like, can you feel it? I'm like, yeah, like crying my eyes out. They were like, you could feel it. Like they panicked and I was like, yeah, I can, I can literally oh feel them cut, like cutting my stomach. So then they had to put a mask on me and I literally like was in there on my own with just the doctors like a gas mask kind and of And did thing. you go to sleep? I was asleep. So oh, I didn't get like the skin on skin contact. Oh. I didn't get to see her soon. It was, it was horrible. So, horrible. so I remember just waking up and like, they were just like um, sewing me up. And I was like, where's my baby? Where's my baby? They were like, don't worry, she's fine. She's seven and a half pounds. And then they wheeled me in then, like, I think it was like an hour later to see you. So it was just like, then when I hear your birth story, I'm like, yeah, oh, well, I I'm glad you did. It was more like an exorcism. <laughs> I got induced because I was like, I went to like 43 weeks. Just you on, went to 43 yeah. weeks, did you? And this is the thing, like, I feel like I was really naive. So this is advice I'd give to you, like, everything's in your terms, which I didn't really, yeah. I didn't really think. They tried to induce me with the pessary, which is basically like a tampon with the, something on the end yeah, of like it. Yeah, like a tablet or... Yeah, yeah, and that was like really painful. Like a fresh tablet. And, and so, like, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was screaming in pain from that alone. I should have been like, that's not working. Yeah, Try something, something else. else. This is the thing where this hypnobirthing course, like it teaches you so much. It's yeah, made me so empowered. It might not change the fact. Is it free? Yes, yeah, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> you know that nothing's going to prepare you for the contractions. Yeah. Oh. Why am I excited though? Like, I'm such a freak. Like, no, do you it? know what? I love pain. Don't get me wrong. I love pain. Tattoos. I'm like, good with pain as well. Surgery, like yeah. piercings. Like I could deal with it. Contractions. It's like a challenge though. But I feel like I was, they wouldn't even give me any pain relief when I was begging for it. What? I was having the gas in here and I was breathing it in and it was mm. cutting out. And I was like, I can't get anything from this. And she was like, it's fine. It, yes, you can. I was like, I was going, and it was just cutting out. And I was like, I was going to Casey, like, this isn't working. 12 hours later, when this midwife came in, she was like, oh, the canister's empty. Honestly, it was such a bad experience Explain for me. Explain what it was like pushing the baby out of the vagina. Well, at this point, I'd finally had the epidural, so yeah. I couldn't feel any pain. It, felt it like just nothing. wouldn't come out. And I was honestly pushing with everything. Yeah. And Casey said, like, it was generally like, it was just the head was like poking out for a split second and then <laughs> got it back in. Oh my God. It was like my body just didn't want to let go of So did you give birth? In the end, or did you have... So what happened was, is they were like, right, this isn't working. I pushed for like 20 minutes. The consultant came in. They went, we're going to take you to theatre. We're going to try with suction. What is suction? <laughs> Basically like a plunger. It's like Uber, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, so when I was lying there, they were like, we're going to try with three attempts with the suction. I was thinking like, there is no way I've gone through all of this to have a C-section. Yeah. Like, nah. what is the point? Yeah. So on that third push with that suction, I swear to God, I have never, <laughs> I thought like, my head was going to explode. <laughs> and he literally just shocked out. So obviously like, both of you had quite traumatic experiences. How have you changed it this time round? Obviously, mine was emergency C-section yeah. and I'm going for a planned okay. and they're meant to be like much, yeah more relaxing. I'm going to get my hair done, makeup yeah. done, <laughs> eyelashes done. Yeah. I'm going to go into a more positive mindset. Yeah. You're going to have a C-section planned as well? Elective, yeah, planned. I'm just not even going to risk it. You're almost a little bit judged, aren't you? Like, oh, yeah. yeah, people do judge Do you know you. what, yeah. though? One thing I'll say, like, people think that having a C-section is the easy way out. And it's really not. It is not. No. The recovery from it mm. is mad. I think, like, I obviously, after doing that um, hypnobirthing course, I'm looking to do a water birth. Yeah. Yeah, that's water birth looks so nice. That's why do. I wanted to Apparently, <laughs> we <laughs> want, we, we're going to be few. I was picturing she's myself to be come. like a mermaid, like, do you know what I mean? Like, she's going to come back and she's had the perfect birth. <laughs> yeah, literally. And we were like, why don't we do that? Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, but it does change your outlook. You're not meant to have adrenaline when you give birth. In you? No, that's it's meant to have oxytocin, which is 
only controlled by getting into your blood by breathing. So when you freak out and, s and don't breathe, you create adrenaline, which is actually a chemical you don't want in your system to give birth because it takes all of the blood to your legs and your arms for the flight or fight response. That's like, how I thought. I'm not just going to have a bad birth yeah. with me because <laughs> I didn't know any of this. I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, it's going to go smoothly. It, it might not. It might be completely the opposite of what I want. But I want to have a water birth. Like, apparently the rooms are just nicer. So I was like, oh, I yeah, have a water. Yeah. <laughs> You could poo in there, you know. I've never seen Kevin and Perry when they're, when they're <laughs> And they have in there. <laughs> what would you say is like your do's and don'ts for your birth partner? I, I just think just like the do's are just like treat me like a queen, mm -hmm. make me feel like at ease, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And the don'ts are don't be on your phone 24-7. Yeah. Don't be screaming because I'll panic. That is one. Don't be on your yeah. phone. Like if like, he's just sitting there. No, I'm about to give birth to your child. Casey was eating a kebab when I was in labour. It was annoying. Yeah. It was annoying So don't eat me. kebabs whilst your partner. Just don't, don't do anything. <laughs> just be there. Like, just sit there <laughs> silently. Yeah. Oh, God. One for Alec. Like, he, he is so like, you know when people just annoy you? Like he does things that just yeah. wind me up and I'm so scared I'm going to be so irritable. And when you're having contractions yeah. as well. Yeah. Tell him not to make jokes like that's yeah. just don't be making jokes don't make dad jokes you're not yeah. a f daddy yeah. <laughs>